Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plaxus uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, theory to practice. This is uh, lesson uh, 35. In this uh, lesson we are going to investigate the continuous or the behavior of continuous or strip foundation on uh, weak uh, soil with a granular trench using Plaxus uh, 3D. As we can see in uh, this uh, figure, in some uh, situations we have a soft clay also uh, for some uh, proposed uh, project or structures we have or we have to build a strip or continuous foundation. So maybe due to uh, a high uh, value of settlement, uh, sometimes we do some uh, soil improvement uh, like uh, this uh, situation. Uh, which uh, granular trench uh, material are used like gravel or uh, granular uh, soil so uh, in this tutorial we are going to uh, model uh, this situation in Plaxus uh, 3D so this is our uh, model uh, we will have uh, an excavation uh, for uh, we will have a, an excavation for a 0 0.5 meter also uh, the strip uh, footing is uh, 2 meter wide and 8 meter long also the dimension of that uh, granular trench is uh, 2.5 meter high and 1.5 meter uh, in width uh, the amount of uh, the lot which is going to be applied to the continuous foundation is equal to 110 kilonewton per uh, square meter uh, as you can see this uh, our uh, example it will uh, going to be like uh, this one we will have a uh, soil geometry after that we will have an excavation also we will have a trench granular trench and we will have uh, the city foundation on a granular uh, trench so we will do uh, and uh, simulate both uh, cases we will ask uh, in the first uh, case we will assume that we don't have any uh, granular trench and all of the soil uh, is uh, soft clay or weak, weak uh, clay soil and we will analyze uh, this uh, example and we will see the settlement of uh, the foundation so after that we will uh, run the analysis again but in th uh, the second case we will use a granular trench so we will use a different material for uh, this uh, granular trench such as a gravel maybe and after that we will run the analysis again and we will see the uh, improvement in uh, the settlement of the foundation so I click on uh, calculate again calculate all faces
Okay, the calculation is uh, finished again. We can uh, see the results in view calculation results. So, as we can see, this is a deformed shape of uh, our problem. And we can see how the displacement or settlement is uh, get improved uh, from about 5 cm, 5.3 cm to 1.8 uh, cm. So we can see this is a deformed shape of uh, the foundation. This is a deformed shape in a true scale. So again we can see the total displacement and we can uh, take a vertical cross section so as we can see this uh, total uh, displacement uh, contours of the foundation uh, this is a uh, displacement in uh, z direction also we can uh, we can double click we can uh, see the uh, forces in this foundation we can click on select structure and double click on it so in uh, this uh, menu we can uh, see the moment in uh, one one direction and in direction two also we can uh, check the shear force and axial force so uh, again we uh, can uh, check the care manager we can check the load displacement care for uh, uh, the second case when we had uh, a granular trench under the foundation so i will uh, plot both uh, displacement curve uh, in, on the same uh, figure so i click on uh, this figure and show so we can see this is a load displacement care from uh, we clay only when we didn't have the granular trench I just right click on uh, this figure and add a care from the current project so just ok and again I disable these uh, faces also this is a uh, weak clay with granular trench okay so as we can see how the settlement of the foundation is uh, get improved after replacing uh, the soil below the foundation with a granular trench uh, it uh, decreased from 5 centimeter to 1.8 uh, centimeter uh, also as I as I said uh, the dimension of uh, the granular trench uh, in this example was uh, 1.5 meter width and 2.5 meter in height so you can uh, change uh, this dimension for example uh, the width of the granular trench and you can uh, increase and decrease the height of the granular trench and uh, check the effect of uh, dimensions of granular trench on the results of uh, the settlement and uh, building capacity of uh, the foundation so uh, this was uh, for uh, this example and i hope it was clear uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson